Ninth grade. Min. Help me. What's wrong? Who hurt you? I'll kill them. I'll smash their heads in. I don't know how to talk to the baseball team. They're being weird. Uh, check the baseball club chat. What's going on? Pets you? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Is it the weebs? Person rolls over. What the fuck? Oh, hi, Ogzai. Morning. <laughs> Join our roleplay group. <laughs> Rubs against me and kicks you over a fence. <laughs> Be a furry freak go somewhere else. <laughs> Sad, yeah. <laughs> Chris has entered the chat room. Hey, Chris, sir. Yo. We should do something to celebrate our win. How about going out for lunch? Oh, yeah. Sounds good. Any suggestions for where? Buffet. Perfect. I have a coupon for Bombay Garden. It's an Indian buffet in the mall. If we're really being frugal, I bet Min could pass off at under 12 of the kids' price. <laughs> Why well, stop there? Infants eat for free. Damn. Hey. <laughs> More realistically, Min could actually fit in our equipment bag. The giant three foot long one. We can straight up smuggle her inside and not pay for her at all. Won't the waiters find it odd that a tiny Asian kid suddenly materialised at our table? No, they won't see her. She'll stay in the bag. <laughs> when no one's looking, we can quickly slip the food inside. What kind of demented fantasy even is this? I'm getting scared of your future children, you weirdo. Uh, that actually sounds kind of fun. I'll do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll be like, illegal. Alright, let's meet up here at noon tomorrow. Be there or be square. Tomorrow, I can't go. Ah, oh, sad. Why not? I just had fun three months ago. My parents will complain if I'm wasting time. I can't go either. I'm still grounded for getting expelled from Niles. How are you going to come to practice then? I told them I'm going to a tutoring group. Can't you say you're going to a special audition session? Because you're extra dumb and need the help. <laughs> Fuck you. That's not going to work. They won't be convinced that easily. Wait, wait, listen. Got an idea. Alright, what's the idea? Min's mum accompanies her to the library. Noelle is seated inside with her mum. Min gestures at her, wrinkling her nose with disgust. This is my private tutor, or whatever. Yes, I'm receiving extra credit for this. Min's mum eyes the clearly nerdy girl Min would never be friends with. Noelle's mum eyes the clearly stupid girl Noelle would never be friends with. Show us your latest math test. Min takes a crumpled ball of paper out of her pocket. When she smooths it out, it's marked all over red with failure. What happened? I got unlucky. There were so many where I narrowed it down to two choices and guessed wrong. There's only four choices. Even if you choose a single answer at random, on average you would have scored higher than this. Yeah, says who? What says probability? No one teaches me in the concept of percentages. Sounds fake. It's not fake. Do you at least understand it now? I guess. I'm finally convinced Noah is legitimately tutoring Min. The mum's head home. We fooled him. All we need to do is now walk to the buffet and remember to come back here later to get picked up. It's so messed up that we even have to do this. Just for really basic things. We're not even doing anything bad. I can't comprehend a situation where you don't have to hide most of your life from your parents. Right, a healthy relationship with your parents? What is that even? It sucks that due to societal pressures, practically everyone has kids, whether they're well suited to parenting or not. It took me a long time to accept that my mum and dad are decent people who just happen to make horrible parents. I bet mine are worse. My dad taped the times table up to 12 by 12 to the wall at eye level and made me go stand facing it until I memorised the whole thing in one go. I was five, but I remember it clearly because I was there for hours and hours. I still don't know the 11 and 12 ones. Same. Oh yeah, my dad once threw a porcelain toilet seat at me from upstairs. Why a toilet seat? Uh, my dad went to pee in the middle of an argument and suddenly remembered how mad he was at me. So he stormed out of the bathroom with the thing in hand and held it at me on sight. Wow, that explains a lot about you. Parents should be required to take a test before they can have kids. I wish that were viable. Maybe in an ideal world where all vehicle turn signals sync up and blink the same speed. I'd want the test to ask them to explain their motivation for being a parent do you want a kid just to elevate your own status? What if your kids just don't turn out the way you expected? A bunch of white guys holler at them as they pass by the intersection. Konnichiwa! Oh my god, Min makes an obscene hand gesture at him. This is America. Speak English, motherfucker. <laughs> That's not the correct way to think of it. It's kind of funny. He had two chances to get it right and got it wrong for both of us. Like you and your math test. Oh, shut up. They're actually getting on, sort of. It's kind of weird. Here we are. Dia and Akasha are already waiting by the fountain. Dia. Yo. I love... <laughs> I thought that's what that meant. 
This just added five years to my lifespan. Deer has moved so that she's standing directly beneath the air conditioning vent. She closes her eyes contently as the cool draft blows over her face. You're sweating buckets, were you exercising or something? Ran five miles to here from my house. But your house is only one mile away. I know. I just can't read maps. You should cool off in the fountain. No. It doesn't matter that you're not wearing a swimsuit. If you take off your clothes, your bra and underwear will basically be like a bikini. You think the swimsuit is the only issue here? It's called having fun, Frenchman. Try it sometime. Really? Then why don't you jump into the fountain? Great question. What? It's filled with money that people threw in there. It's like a swimming pool, but better. She will do it. Don't don't mess with us. She will do it. She's right. There's nothing stopping us from taking it. You can't be serious. Stop. Don't. <laughs> oh my god. How much money you got so far? Min examines the fistful of dirty coins in her hand. Uh, a lot. Min holds it out for Akasha to see. You got like $1.88. If we find 392 more cents, we can buy Mario Party at GameStop. <laughs> hey, what are you doing in there? Get out. Krista is power walking toward him. Shit, busted. Akasha and Min reluctantly climb out of the mall fountain. Why are you two like this? Have you never gone outside before? How dare you. Just last week, I went to Safeway with my mum. <laughs> Krista points at Noel, who's smugly watching them get scolded from a safe distance. And you? What? I didn't do anything. Exactly, you should have stopped them. Are you the responsible one or are you not? Okay, I think they get it. Let's just go to the restaurant now. Get in the bag, Min. <laughs> They're actually going to do it. Liz places the empty equipment back on the floor and unzips it. Min climbs in and lies on the side in fetal position. There's actually some room to spare. Uh, are you okay in there? It's kind of like being in a sleeping bag, except not padded and shitty. I'm doing the crime. If I stay undercover like this, I'll basically be stealing from the restaurant. That's right, homie. Fight the system. We need to zip this up now so no one sees you. Everyone wave goodbye to Min. Bye, Min. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, they're doing this. I can't see a thing now that it's zipped shut. Min feels the tug on the top of the bag. Well, I didn't think about being carried. It's like a hundred pounds. Dia can lift it. She's the strongest one. No, Dia won't work. She looked too guilty. You can see it on her face. See, Mum? She's already uncomfortable. Did you just call me mum? Uh, what? I did not. <laughs> you totally did. I absolutely did not. Okay, I'll carry the bag. Well, she's lifting the bag off the ground. I'm suddenly really worried about being dropped. If you drop me, I'll kill you. They've halted inside the restaurant. How many? Nine, I mean eight. We don't have any large tables left. Is two separate ones fine? Sure. Come this way then. The bag shifts with Chris's movements as she follows the waiter. These tables are pretty tall. If Min was sitting at it, she'd need a booster seat. I'm not that short, you bitch. <laughs> Shit. He heard you. Min's life as a fugitive has ended. At least now that you've blown your cover, you can eat normally with us. Yeah. Min crawls out of the bag and takes a seat with Akasha, Noel and Dia. We can get our drinks and food now. As Akasha reaches for her empty glass, Noel grabs her arm. Wait, I'll get your water along with mine. You go ahead, get your food. Uh, thanks? Don't mention it. Do you have a fever or something? You're really docile all, all of a sudden. I don't have the energy to deal with both you and Mincio at the same time. I'll get you back for this later. I like how getting her water is something you have to get her back for. Dia pauses, then turns to look at Min. The restaurant is noisy enough that she likely didn't catch what Min said, but she heard her tone of approval. Uh, you like Noelle now? Her face is shining with hope. Min is struck with the conviction that saying no would be a crime punishable by death. She's okay, I guess. Dia beams at her. The blinding exposure temporarily lowers Min's IQ by 50 points. Yeah, that was so worth it. I don't know what anything is. Sure, you at least recognise tandoori chicken, right? You're saying it wrong. Wait, really? Tandoori? Tandoori? The do isn't like in door. Like, it's like a doo-doo head. Are you five years old? You should have just said due, as in due date. Tanjuri. Tanjuri? Really? Okay. I ended up taking a bit of everything. Maybe this will make Dia think I'm cool for trying it all. The Tando Tanjuri ticking is too salty. Now I dumps it onto Dia's plate. Dia eagerly stuffs the extra food into her mouth. Why is she your garbage disposal? Min jitters her legs so the table is rattling like there's a small earthquake. Stop that. Akasha joins in at the same frequency, so it resonates. Knowledge is power. Akasha sips her water. She's downed about half the glass now. 
clearly waiting for the moment to arrive. Noelle smugly flips open her cell phone and shows it to her. Akasha, look at this photo. It's a picture of the restaurant's bathroom stall. In the centre of the frame, Noelle is holding a glass of water to the toilet. Is that you filled my cup with toilet water? What do you think? Seriously? Akasha stands. Noah has a perversely happy look on her face, like a child burning ants with a magnifying glass. Seriously now, are you serious? Come on, man. Seriously now, really, are you serious? Come on, man. Now we're even. What the hell? You just fed a toilet water. <laughs> I can't believe you. My stomach hurts now. You're being overdramatic. The bacteria wouldn't affect it that fast. I'm going to wash my mouth out. Akasha disappears into the bathroom. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Worried, Dia goes over Akasha, leaving him in the lane with Noel at the table. Noel is in a particularly good mood now. Uh, let's, let's chat then. Was it really toilet water? Well, of course not, that would have been unsanitary. What kind of person do you think I am? What the fuck, that somehow makes it worse? You lied to her. I never lied. I purposely led her to the wrong conclusion, that's all. Uh, it pisses me off to admit it, but you're less boring than I originally thought. I used to think you were the bland goody two-shoes type. But you're actually this sadistic, manipulative weirdo. I can respect that. Uh, thanks. Sorry I've been a jerk to you. If I'd given you a chance, we might have gotten along. What? I'm just kidding. I hate you. Noel nods with relief. Good. I hate you too. None of this Disney shit. <laughs> That's right. Alright, let's go check on these guys. Min gets up and hovers awkwardly outside the women's restroom. Peering through the open door from the hallway, she can see Akasha and Deer at the sink. Kasa cups her hand under the running faucet, gargles the tap water and spits it back out. Oh my god, people pooped in the toilet water and I drank it. Yeah. This would happen to me, classic. What did I ever do to deserve this? You tied Noel's braid to a tree? Besides that, that's so minor. And accidentally you dropped a worm we were dissecting down her shirt. Besides that, weeks ago that was. Yesterday you picked it up, replied okay when she demanded you put her down and threw her into the school swimming pool. And when she screeched, now I'm all wet, you well, that's what she said. Besides that, none of these count. Such a cruel world we live in. <laughs> right. Dear clearly has no idea what to say. Even though she's mostly just standing there listening though, Akasha seems to appreciate her presence. It looks like they're doing okay. Min returns to the table. They're taking a long time in there. She's not crying, is she? No, she's just being a drama queen like usual. What, are you worried? What? No. I was just curious. Whatever you say, Satan. <laughs> the workers are refilling the iced tea keg now. That looks good. Moon fetches a glass of iced tea and returns to the table. What is that? Iced tea. What? Where was that? Moon points at the glass keg in the corner of the buffet. Why is it all by itself, away from the other beverages? Uh, maybe they didn't have room by the soda machine? Now that she looks though, there is room by the soda machine. Shit, you're right. What the hell is this then? How should I know? Min sniffs it. I can't tell what it is. You try. Noah brings the bowl to her face and inhales. I don't know. It doesn't smell like tea. Min pours half of it into another glass and slides it over. I don't want it. It's the symbol of our not being enemies anymore. I don't even know what it is though. Then try it. You try it. What, are you scared it will taste bad? What if it's a condiment or a sauce? It would be like eating mustard. We should just wait for dear and Akasha to come back and ask them. I don't want to be sitting here with matching cups with you. It would look stupid. You should have thought about that before taking a glass of mystery liquid. I thought I knew what it was. Noelle glares down at a glass of orangey yellow liquid. After a long moment, she takes a sip. Well, what is it? It's spicy, not sweet. It's weird for a beverage. I don't like it. What are you, racist? <laughs> not racist. You're like one of those wimps who are afraid of durian. Closed-minded. I'm not. Look, I'll finish it. It's probably an acquired taste like durian. Min begins drinking the glass of liquid too. It does taste weird for a drink. I don't like it, but I'm better than her. I'll never admit it. Grimacing, they continue drinking the mystery liquid in silence. Hey, you're like a deer expert, aren't you? Uh, more or less. Can I ask for your opinion on something? What you got? Where would be the best possible place to take deer on a date? A dog park. I already did that. I mean, besides the dog park. Then the Harry Potter theme park at Universal Studios. Okay, I don't have the money for that. I mean, the budget in the situation is small. In this hypothetical situation. Yeah, in this hypothetical situation. I'm testing your dear knowledge. She also likes eating. Why don't you take her to a dessert place instead? There's one she wants to try called Snow Castle. They have shaped ice and boba. 
It's within walking distance from school. Students often visit it during lunch hour. Perfect. Thanks. I mean, you pass. <laughs> because I was testing you. Just as a reminder, I hate you. I'm only helping you to make sure Dia doesn't have a terrible time. Yeah, of course. I hate you too. Akash and Dia have returned from the bathroom. Akash's eyes widen to see Ming gulp another mouthful of the mystery liquid. Are you guys drinking Penny? Dia, look, they're drinking Penny. What? What's that? You're supposed to use it to fill up Puri, the fried dough ball things. You don't drink it by itself. Noel glares at Min. I told you it wasn't a beverage. I was right. Don't pin it on me. You drank it all on your own. Do you guys squirt ketchup directly into your mouths too? Shut up. Ketchup man. Both Dia and Akasha are gleefully taking out their phones. Oh, don't take photos. Look what I got. It's a photo of a blurred scowling Noel trying to shove the shameful cup away from her. Send this picture to me. You're never going to let us live this down, are you? You guessed it, Ketchup Man, too. Whatever, P-Girl. <laughs> Noel storms off to the buffet area to escape Akasha's photos. Akasha gets up and chases after her. Noel's making things even worse. There's going to be action shots of her running around the salad bar now. And of her tripping. What? But she hasn't tripped. As this fun cue, Noel stumbles over nothing and trips. Hey, this isn't a jungle gym. <laughs> Wow, you're good. We're alone at the table now. Here's my chance to ask her out. Uh, we should go out and eat sometime. That uh, we're already eating right now. I mean, some other time. Just the two of us. Ooh, the next day. Snow castle. Oh, she said yes. <laughs> Alright, snow castle. We're here. On the date. It's lunchtime at school right now. We ate really fast and sprinted here. How much time do we have? About 30 minutes before you got to run back. Thanks for bringing me here. I've always wanted to try the shaved ice. I'm the one who should be thankful. Don't mention it. Min receives a chat message. She quickly checks her phone. I've prepared a dear cheat sheet for your reference. Wow. Top desserts, drinks that dear likes. Any food particularly coloured to look blue. The flavour is irrelevant. Dear cannot tell the difference and will refer to it as a blue flavour. Peanut butter. She's neutral towards actual peanuts. Uh, mango. Food with a circle in the centre, bagels, cakes, okay, cool. If you are in a situation where multiple food items have these features, okay, a blue colour cake and a mango boost cake are available. The hierarchy is as follows, blue first, peanut butter, mango, circle in the centre. Suggested conversation topics, our city. Dogs who have different coloured fur above their eyes, so it looks like they have eyebrows and the most extreme, which is an Animal Planet series. Okay. <laughs> One letter response to all that, okay, okay. I'll text you if I run into trouble. Understood. Min and Dia take their place in line and gaze up at the menu. These shaped ice desserts look massive. Maybe we can share one. Dia nods eagerly. It's on purpose. They're made for couples to eat together. Oh, we're sharing one. It's Dia and Min's turn in line now. Welcome to Snow Castle. Can I take your order? Dia looks anxiously at Min. Min's heart skips a beat, seeing the helplessness in her eyes. She's relying on me. I've got you. We'll have the Mount Fuji. That one's blue. One Mount Fuji coming right up. Dear and Min find the table and wait for their order. I'll pay you back. Nice nah, on me, don't worry about it. I still have the money from the mall fountain. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. I'd kill someone if you asked me to. I'm pretty sure you'll kill someone even if I didn't ask you to. The orders are being prepared at the counter. An employee is drizzling the syrup atop another customer's mountain of shaved ice. Hey, we can watch them make it. I don't want to see. Food tastes better if you don't know what's in it. That way, it's like magic. Wow, I never thought of it like that. Do you know how to cook? I can make microwave popcorn. That's not cooking. What, you, you can cook? Not really. Once I tried to make a pancake when I was nine, but it burned like a turtle crisp, like a rock. I couldn't even scrape it out of the pan. I was so embarrassed that I dug a big hole in the backyard and buried it, including the pan. I was desperate. I didn't know what else to do. That's cute, like a little puppy. Are you making fun of me? No, it's a good thing. You're so cute sometimes that I almost can't stand it. <laughs> I've got to go to the bathroom. Dia staggers to her feet and makes for the restroom. She misses the door and slams straight into the wall. Dia! Min rushes to her side as she staggers back and grabs hold of her, worried she might fall. What's wrong, are you hurt? Uh, Dia just shakes her head, face red. She seems to be struggling with the limits of spoken language. Are uh, you sure? Dia nods frantically. Min tentatively lets her go. She watches Dia scramble into the restroom, correctly this time. 
As Moon returns to the table, her phone screen lights up with a message. Oh, I'm fucking done. The way you grabbed that, I thought you were going to start dry humping her in the middle of the restaurant. Akasha, I'm convinced those sunglasses are actually impeding your mental process. I'm embarrassed to be seen with you. Well, I can't take them off. My cover will be blown. You should have chosen the better disguise in the first place then. What? Turn around. <laughs> oh, I love the shades. Oh man, what the fuck? He's been texting me for advice on you. That's why she went to the bathroom. What? Honestly, I'm annoyed she goes to you and not me. Why would she go to you? You never talk about feelings and gay stuff. And I also have master seduction skills. What master seduction skills? My tactics. If you're so knowledgeable on these matters, why are you so single? Excuse you, I'm single because I want to be, yeah? Some people like being sad and alone. On purpose. On purpose. Right, on purpose. Not because no one ever likes me back or anything. Don't attack me like this, what the fuck? Wait, guys, hold on. How long has this been going on? Was the whole thing at the buffet a setup? When you two left the table? Take a wild guess, Sherlock. You know, Noel, I'm starting to realise you do have a sense of humour. But you're so emotionally constipated that your style of humour is just being extremely mean. Oh my god, wait. Do you and Noel get along now? We don't get along. But we used to not get along much worse. Okay, Dia returns to the table. Are you feeling better? Dia nods sheepishly and then stiffens up in fear as the waitress approaches with their dessert on a tray. One Mount Fuji. Dia responds with friended nodding as the waitress slides the dessert onto the table. Hell yeah, it's a mound of shaved ice sculpted and saturated with blue raspberry syrup and condensed milk to look like a mountain. Nice. The blue flavour looks good. Noel was spot on. What are the pink things though? It's mochi. They're supposed to look like cherry blossom. Min stabs her spoon into the shaved ice and shoves it into her mouth. The shaved ice is so cold that her gums are growing numb. I think I'm getting brain freeze. Me too. A drop of cream is tricking down Dia's finger. She quickly licks it clean before it can reach her palm. Min is so focused on watching, she doesn't realise her own mouth is hanging open until she feels the trailer spit about to drop down from it. Min accidentally draws on the table. <laughs> Fuck shit. <laughs> Smooth. Dia is staring determinedly into Mr. Fuji. She probably pretending not to have seen. Help me. Pretend to drown, so she has to give you mouth to mouth. What the fuck kind of plan is that? What would I even be drowning on? The shaved ice. No. The toilet. No. Trust me, I'm a love expert. There's no way this could possibly go wrong. Rather than potentially causing confusion like that, why don't you be open and tell you how you feel? You're the last person on the planet qualified to tell me to be open. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm perfectly open about my feelings. Since when? Hey Frenchman, you enjoy our company, right? I'm not sure how you deluded yourself into believing that. You see? Oh my god, laughing my ass off. Proved us right. You can't even argue it. <laughs> Traps, gotcha. She hates being wrong, but she can't admit she likes us. I like you. <gasps> Shock. However, you're immature and relentlessly annoying. Everything about you fills me with an indescribable rage. From the way you wear a windbreaker with flip-flops to your idiotic looking hairstyle to how you're smart yet do things like cool forks, food rakes, etc. And Min, you're volatile and stupid. I hardly tolerate you. So if you hurt Dia in any way, I won't hesitate to destroy you. Why do you have to immediately drag us to defuse the situation? Baby steps, Frenchman. Very good. Shut up. <laughs> Now that I'm right, as always, about being open, Min has no valid excuse. What if Dia rejects me? Then that's her own personal problem for having bad taste. It's her loss, not yours. What should I say? Let me think. Shit, bitch, you is fan. <laughs> what the hell, no? Hey, girl, rap piss. What? Urban Dictionary rap piss. A code name for send nudes. <laughs> Who the fuck would say that? Do it. Hey girl, rap piss. No. If you don't make a move in the next five minutes, I'm about the Crazy Frog song and ruin your whole date. <laughs> I've practiced. Unfortunately, I can confirm that she has practiced. Okay, I can do it. My mouth is so cold. Uh, do you want me to warm it up for you? Dear freezes. Oh my god, I fucked up. <laughs> Dear gives her a nervous, very small nod. What? Going for it. Bam. Ming crawls onto the table on all fours with the cloud clatter. Dia gasps as Ming cups her face in her palms and catches her lips with hers. Her mouth is cold, as advertised, and blue flavour. Dia doesn't push her away, but she doesn't kiss back either. 
Min can feel her trembling in her arms like a frightened rabbit. Anxious, Min pulls back over the sounds of Akasha's whooping and yodeling in the background. Dia is clinging desperately to Min's jacket sleeves. A vivid blush is colouring her cheeks. Is it good? Dia frantically nods in response, looking embarrassed. I don't know what to do. I've never done this before. Me neither. Don't worry. I looked it up on Yahoo Answers. <laughs> Unless you want to start smaller. Uh, I want to hold hands with you and cuddle. We can do that. Min takes Dia's hand. I'm happy you kiss me. I like you a lot. Me too. Min lightly brushes Dia's lips with her thumb. Dia shivers at the touch as Min gently pulls her closer. Do you like this? Dia nods, then closes her eyes and leans in. She nuzzles against Min, peppering her cheek with the soft little kisses. Oh my god, Dia's kissing me! The table, it's... Noelle stands up and is approaching them. What the fuck? Go away, Noelle. You think I want to be here watching this disgusting display? The table. A leg of the table gives way under Min's weight. Oh yeah, smooth moves. I can't believe we're banned from Snowcastle now. <laughs> I can't believe Min broke their table. No choice. You could have held off by making out for like 10 seconds and walked around it. Like I said, no choice. That was even better than you guys drinking penny at the buffet. <laughs> shut up. Yeah, shut your fuck up. Shut your fuck up. I hate you all. I'm going home. Okay, I'll see you at practice tomorrow. No, wait, stay. Change my mind then. You have approximately 10 seconds. Friendship is like peeing on yourself. Everyone can see it, but only you get the warm feeling it brings. <laughs> what the fuck? Goodbye. No, what were you expecting after that, you nasty freak ho? <laughs> Pee girl again. <laughs> Meanie. You, you dung elf. What? You know how during metamorphosis, inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar turns to soup? It melts into this disgusting muddled goo slushy. Everyone is a mess when they're growing up. Some people are just better at hiding it than others. It's okay to be a flaming dumpster fire. It's okay if you're not what your parents wanted you to be. It's okay to change your mind. If you want to be a butterfly, you have to be a butterfly soup first. If you think about it like that, we're all doing pretty good right now. We just don't know it yet. Just keep going. Keep trying and eventually... You'll find people who like you for the weird fuck up that you are. You deserve to be happy. So don't give up. I won't give up if you don't give up. And if an alligator attacks you, go for the eyes. What? That's what I told Min last time she said that line. The not giving up. I have trivia like that too. If you're walking on the sidewalk and see a car coming toward you, instead of moving forward or backward, go directly to the left or right toward the nearest obstacle you see. Why left or right? I don't get it. There's normally too little time to judge the car's direction. Moving directly perpendicular to how you're facing is your best bet. I was looking up how to survive if a car drives into you as a pedestrian. I already told you. I'll just hit the car out of the way. This turned into a random advice session. End this conversation. Otherwise we'll be standing here forever. Okay, I'm ending it now. Bye. That's it. Oh. Butterfly soup. That was so fun. That was super cute. Really funny. The future. There's more. So, which one do you want? Dunno. Which dog friend do you want, Shibe? Hearing his name, Shibe turns brightly to Dia, tongue lolling out. His frog raincoat makes a crinkling sound against Min's arms as he wags his tail. He's too nice, he likes all of them. Dia peers down at the Pomeranian in the enclosure. This one, it reminds me of you. How? Small, but thinks she's invincible. Hey. It's a charm point. I love you for it. Oh wow, it's Pom! Dia picks the little Pomeranian up and gazes into her black soulless eyes. Your name is Pom. And that was Butterfly Soup. It was really funny. It was really... Everyone has that growing up phase where they don't know what the hell they're doing. And it's really relatable. And yeah, really cool game. Really enjoyed this one. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. But for now, this is Ushio signing off. And hopefully, I will see you next time.